Hi, I'm Alison from Newcastle Speech Pathology and I'm talking to the lovely Rhiannon from Ability Focus OT, Occupational Therapy. And we've been chatting um, today about play and I thought Rhiannon, maybe you could just give us some very specific tips about how to encourage our children to develop these play skills that mm. are so important. Absolutely. I think the biggest things we can do as parents is to provide opportunity for play. So we get very busy mm. in our modern day life. Um, running between activities and school and um, what have you. So I think the key is to take time out yeah. from obligations and let children have the time and the freedom to play. Yeah. I think the other thing too is providing them with resources that aren't necessarily store-bought toys. So that will facilitate their imagination. So save your boxes for a week and just leave them in the house. You'll be so surprised what they do with that box. Um, so yeah, you know, think outside of the box <laughs> and um, don't necessarily think that play is all about store-bought toys. Mm -hmm. um, and engage with them, join them in their play. And my biggest tip for that is you don't have to necessarily be a good player. Um, a lot of parents say to me, but really I don't know how to play. Um, you don't need to, follow your child's lead, do Absolutely. what they do, copy yeah. what they copy what they're doing and you're on the right track. Absolutely, it's so important for the communication skills and we do have other videos and posts about that where you can follow up on how to build language into play also. So thanks for those fantastic tips, they are really helpful. Um, if you haven't already, check out some of our previous videos with Rhiannon and we look forward to seeing you again soon.